Hi, my name is Hector Garcia, and I want to show you some of my favorite uh, Excel shortcuts. I'll start with uh, Control T, followed by Control G, which is going to be used in combination with uh, Control Enter, uh, Control Dollar Sign, which is really Control Shift 4, but um, Control Dollar Sign is how we'll present it, Control Spacebar and Control uh, and Shift Spacebar. Uh, so first, let me start with uh, Control T which basically I go to any data set that I have. As long as I have a data that uh, looks square like this, I can select anywhere in this data set. And then I hit Control T on the keyboard, Control and T. And basically what would happen is uh, Excel is going to ask me to create a table and it's going to double check with me that the range, it has all the data that I want. So in this case, this is actually perfect. It, it actually encapsulated all the data that I wanted. And it asked me whether or not uh, there are headers. So in this particular case, there are. That means that there's a sort of a title to each column. That means that there's a header. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, OK. And then basically, automatically, I'm going to have uh, the table design uh, tab is going to open. And then I get to select what, what kind of colors I want to work with. Uh, but the colors are actually not the important piece. This is just kind of to illustrate that there's a table. But what's nice about a table is, uh, this this table it's it's named. Uh, that means that if I select this entire table, it would have a name. So now this table is called Table Two. So if I'm gonna do a VLOOKUP or something like that, I, I I no longer have to refer to the to the range itself. I just put uh, the word Table Two somewhere, and um, I'll show you later on an example of how that works. The other really neat thing about a table is uh, all the headers automatically get converted into filters. So for example. If I hit this uh, this filter button here under item and I say, oh, okay, I only want to see pens and pencils, whatever data set I happen to have, I hit OK and the data is already pre-filtered for me. Uh, so that's really uh, the cool thing about table. The other really nice thing about table is Excel is smart enough to know that if I add more data in the bottom, so if I happen to uh, have an additional data point, uh, then it, it's actually going to include that data in the table so when I go filter it or use it in some other way, um, now the data is part of the table. So I'll just show you an example. Let me put here a date, and then I'll put here South, Andrews, whatever I happen to put. So basically what happens is this column automatically was added to the, to the data set. So previously, when I selected my entire table, um, it, the, the table used to be that date range all the way to that number. But now the entire table, uh, it's, it's when I hit uh, control A here, for example, the entire table is selected. And now I'm able to see that the table name expanded even to those additional columns that I added. So that's really the neat thing about it is the minute I add anything uh, of data new, it automatically makes it as part of the table. So that's one of the really neat things I like about that control T. The other thing I like here is uh, control G and I'll kind of show you how that works. That's that's the go-to action. And basically, the way Control-G works is um, it allows me to, to select a particular uh, range of data or a particular cell or a particular attribute to a cell. Where I use Control-G the most is, for example, look at this column. I have one, two, three. I have, and if I scroll down, four, five. I have several cells that have no data, that have blank fields. So, and I use this quite often where I want to replace, uh, in this case, the blank fields with the word no rep, for example. So what I would do is <clears throat> I'll select this entire column here and then I hit control G, control G. And then I get the go to button that says, hey, what do you want to do? Where, where do you want to go to? And at this point, I'm going to hit on special. And uh, that means I want to do a special go to. And uh, I'm going to select blanks and basically this will only select uh, the fields that are blank which in this case was every every uh, cell that was missing a rep and then once I know they're selected uh, what I can do is uh, here on the formula bar I can type in whatever information I want to put in there so let's say I want to put the word uh, no rep this is what I want to do I want to put no rep and you notice that when I typed it it only filled it on the first cell that was selected but when I Combine this with Control Enter, Control Enter. Basically, every single field, and I'm going to hit Control Enter now to show you. Now, every single field here that was 
blank before that we use control G blanks to search was replaced by no rep. And, and why would this be useful? Uh, well, in the case of a table, if I want to uh, filter out, for example, a table with no rep, that would be a really fast way of doing it. So instead of using a, a blank filter or something like that, the no rep is a lot more defined, I think. So that's a combination of control G, uh, special blanks, and then control enter to fill them out. Another one um, seems quite easy, which is control dollar sign, which is also control shift four. Um, it seems like a really simple one, but it's used quite often. Very often, uh, since I'm an accountant, I'm working with uh, things of money, dollar signs. So uh, most of the times, if I wanted to select this entire column here and make it currency, I would have to select the column, go to data, uh, and the, uh, sorry, go to uh, formats, and then uh, and then change it here to whatever format I want. So uh, what I like about not having to do go through all that is I basically select the column and then hit control shift four, same thing as hitting control dollar sign, and it automatically adds the dollar sign and it makes it uh, two decimal. So if this happens to be, for example, I'm gonna undo this for a second. Um, let's say, for example, this happened to have a whole bunch of decimals here like this. If I do a control shift uh, four, it would also round it and make it two decimals, which is very common when you're dealing with uh, monetary sort of values. Um, the other, uh, the two that I like is control space bar and, and shift space bar. The reason why I like them is because so often we select an entire column or an entire row. So right now, if I wanted to select this entire row seven, I would have to take my mouse all the way to seven, click there, and that will select the entire row. Or if I wanted to select a row D, I mean, a column D, I would have to take the mouse over here and select D. But what I like about these shortcuts is if I am in any cell, doesn't matter which cell I'm in, and I hit in the event of shift space bar, it selects the entire row up to the last data point. And then I'll click something in here, and then I'll hit control space bar, and at this point, I'll select the entire column. So I find that to be really, really interesting because then now at this point, I can I can make it bold or I can make it italic using other shortcuts and things like that. <clears throat> now, my favorite way to learn shortcuts, it's using a, a software called KeyRocket. And I'm going to show you kind of how it works. KeyRocket is a little program down here and, and that's sitting in my computer. What KeyRocket does is it actually learns what shortcuts I'm using the most and using the least. And it warns me uh, opportunities where I should have used a shortcut. So let me just kind of show you what I mean by that. So for example, let's say I want to make this number bold, right? So normally if I don't know the shortcut for bold, I would have to take my mouse all the way here to the bold button and hit bold. Now what happens is down here at the bottom, Key Rocket realized, hey, you, you had an opportunity to use a a shortcut, why didn't you use it? And it tells you, you should have used control B. So in the future, let's say I don't hit, I don't go here, but I actually hit control B on the keyboard. So I hit control B. The system will say, hooray, you just learned a shortcut. And basically um, every once a week or so, you can, you can check out Key Rocket and see where your biggest opportunities are. For example, in this case, uh, notice that I do control, uh, I do a new short, new workbooks a lot and I don't use the shortcut. This is the potential biggest opportunity I have. So what this is telling me is that I should have gone to file a new blank workbook. This is what I usually do. It's telling me down here, listen, you're missing the opportunity to just hit control N and save yourself a couple seconds. And th this stuff really uh, adds up over time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to a key rocket down there. There's a coupon code for 20% off. So take advantage of that. It's only a about a hundred something dollars a, a year, but you don't really need Key Rocket for more than a year because you will learn 50, 100 shortcuts within a year using this method. Um, and it also works with Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Word, and even uh, with Windows. Uh, and lastly, I'm gonna put a link down there to a, a spreadsheet I put together. I basically copy and paste it from multiple sources all the keyboard shortcuts that I've seen uh, and I put uh, in the sources page, I've actually put in where I got the information from. But basically uh, this is really neat because uh, every single keyboard shortcut that Excel has, uh, or almost every single, don't hold me up to it. I may have missed uh, one or two. Um, it's, it's in the spreadsheet and basically it's uh, organized by category. So I want to see my formatting, for example, my formatting shortcuts uh, and then they're here. So control B for bold, 
control I for italic and so forth. So you can check out the link below uh, for that spreadsheet and I uh, hope this, uh, this was helpful.